Hello and welcome back to some more Genshin Impact. So, at the end of the last video, I was wondering how I would uh, find out how to catch more of the fungus uh, things. And while I was navigating these menus, I realized that in the lower right hand corner there, it says go to challenge. And that's when I'm hovering over these things that tell me to uh, capture a floating dendro fungus. So, that's what I did. And when I selected that, it told me where to find one. And it's right in this area, right near where I currently am, believe it or not. So I'm going to go down there and capture that. I still have the uh, device equipped that allows me to uh, capture those. And yeah, I even see it right there. There should probably... Yeah, there's a pyro one right over there too. So let's do that. Uh, and then hopefully capture it without it running away. Uh, so close, but not close enough. Oh, wow, it's flying. Okay, I've got to chase it down. My aim is so bad. There we go, finally. There's one of them, and then the other one is right there in the middle of that group of hilly churls. Darn it. That definitely caught it. I know it did. It just, for whatever reason, didn't want to give me credit finally. Okay, this is also a pyro fungus, but it's super long. Let Paimon think. Uh, those wielding the power of pyro all have flashy skills that look like fireworks, and so this is pyro tech puff. <laughs> uh, Paimon thinks that if you grab its body and wield it as a sword, you'd be unstoppable. Well, blaze sword sounds about right. And then there's this one. If it can release fireballs, Sparks and Spores would be a pretty fitting name. If not, it's a pretty good name anyway. Uh, yeah, I like Sparks and Spores. Now there's this one. Uh, now this is a pretty ordinary looking fungus, but let's give it a nice name all the same. Uh, so the first one is, its color is the closest to that of grass and trees among all fungi. Paimon names it Greenhead. Huh. Paimon has heard some stories about it, but it's beha been behaving itself so far, so Paimon's going to call it Flipwell. Weird. Plants that bloom and bear fruit seem to be important, so how about bloom soon? Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure about any of these. Uh, I'll go with Flipwell. Okay, so now let's look at things. Okay, so I can claim the prizes for those, right? And now, whoops, no, I want to capture the next two, which are the Anemo fungus and the uh, Pyrofungus, or floating Anemo fungus and whirling Pyrofungus. So let's go to the challenge. It's all the way over there near Caravan Rebot. I think it would be fastest if I teleport here and then run over there. Okay, there's somewhere in this general area. Uh, the question is, is where specifically? Are they underground? They have to be underground, right? I'm not seeing anything else. Oh, there's one. All the way over there. And there's... What is that? A Fatui? No, that's an Aramite, right? Okay, and there's the other one, by the way. Anyways. Let's get you. Darn it. Why does it seem like the first one always misses? I can't be imagining that, right? Anyways, I caught it barely. Uh, let's go get this one over here. There we go. Darn it. It floated up in the air at just the, rough, the last second. There we go. So now I get to name him. Huh, isn't this guy pretty similar to Honey as Pyro 1? Let's be sure to give it a cool sounding name. And the first name is... Hmm, how about Retri Bushroom? Huh. Oh, Pymon's hoping this won't threaten our ability to order grape, fr uh, grape juice ever again. The second one is, speaking of might, the name Flame Wrath sure belongs to someone mighty. Uh, and then the next one is Fire Punch. Uh, it looks like a fire, a fighter already. How about Fire Punch? Hmm, might be a little strange though. To be honest, I, I'm not really fond of the first one because I'm going to have a hard time pronouncing it. And I don't really like Fire Punch, so I'll go with Flame Wrath. Uh, oh, this one's just like Twirly Whirly. Paimon's got a new idea coming on. 
So the first one says, Shroom Terror it is. Paimon would like to make a hat of its shape and gift it to someone of Mondstadt. The next one says, Do you think this one can blow itself away if the wind uh, it unleashes is too strong? That would be, uh, that would really be a super swirl. And then the final one is, Layla has already come up with some cute names, so we better use some powerful sounding ones. How does Stormy Corn sound? Uh, you know, I'll go with Shroom Terror. It kind of reminds me of Storm Terror. Anyways, uh, on to the next one. I'll claim my prizes first, of course. There we go. Prize number one, prize number two. And then move on to the final one, uh, which is this. So I want to capture a Whirling Electro Fungus and a Stretchy Anemo Fungus. Let's go do that. All the way over there, it says. Uh, so obviously I need to teleport here and run over there. And here we are. Uh, the first one is surrounded by those hilly churls. I might be able to get it from this angle. Uh, darn it. Nah. Here we go. Got it. Next one is all the way up here. If I go up here like this, I might be able to get it without too much trouble. Darn it. Missed it just barely. Uh, stupid boxes. Uh, no. Nothing to fear. Other than death. Come on, stop running away so much. Darn it. I keep trying to quick draw, and it's not working. Whoa! Wait a second. You can just You can just do that. I didn't even know that you didn't have to aim. A jumpy fungus that uses a Nemo. Feels kind of familiar, don't you think? Hmm. Paimon suddenly lost her train of thought. Now Paimon's head's feeling so hollow that the wind could, uh, blow right through it. Uh, let's just call this one Windy Head, shall we? Okay, Paimon. It's rather skillful, so how about Skill Shroom? <laughs> and the final one. Hey, the way it bounces is... is is as if it could step on the wind. Let's call it Bound Strider. How about that? I think I'll go with Skill Shroom. I like that one. This fungus is really dangerous. It even leaves Electro behind when it runs off. What shall we call it? The first one says, this one makes super loud noises. Perhaps we can call it Spark Dart. The uh, second one says, it moves in circles, maybe sometimes even in an arc. So, of course, we're going to call it Rain Thunder. And the third and final one says, It somehow reminds Paimon of a tool used by miners. Oh, Paimon gets it. Let's call it Ellie Bit. I'll go with Spark Dart. And that should be all of those captured. So let's claim our prizes. Okay, there we go. Free Primo Gems. Yay! So that's all of those done. Now there's just these, uh things where they want me to awaken their potentials. So I'll go do that very fast. Uh, that involved going back to Port Hormos, I believe. Okay, yes, I do want to train my fungi. So obviously I want to train the ones that haven't been trained yet, right? Because you can't retrain the ones that you've already trained. So let's uh, go ahead and train Floatwell here. This lightweight fungus is more as a more common sight in the forest. But it has been conferred, rather creative descriptions in various researchers' works. So let's cultivate and find out what pattern I'm supposed to use. Uh, preset, huh? So I can rotate, switch, and preset this time. And there's four of these things. What's the preset pattern? Two blue and one green. Okay. Okay, if I do it right here, rotate, rotate twice, rotate three times, rotate these around as well. Did it in six moves or seven moves? Seven, okay. I don't know if that's good enough to claim the prize or not. I'll try it again. I'll try it on this side this time. So rotate here like that. Rotate here like this. There we go. Three moves that time. Yay! Okay, so now Spark and Snores is... Ah, Spark and Spores is next. 
a tall and strong fungus. Though it uses pyro, it has a rather gentle personality, as long as prospect uh, prospective tamer does not lift them up and raise them high, there should be no danger from this quarter at all. Okay. So there's another preset. So let's add the preset right here like that. I think if I do this, and then do that. There we go. Yeah. Three, three turns there, and that's good. So now there's Shroom Terror. A light fungus with a fluffy light cap. It is said it's springy to the touch, much like jelly. Cultivate. Oh wow, there are two presets this time. We're getting a little bit more complicated. Okay, I definitely want to do something like that there. And then this one right here, like this. No, I messed up. Oh, I can copy though. So, no, I'm... Okay, I've got to undo everything. Thankfully, I can undo everything without having to reset the entire thing. Anyways, let's try this again. I just did a preset right there when I didn't have to do it right there. I should have done it right there. Okay, if I do a preset like that, and then I do a copy right here like that. There, finally. Uh, the controls are so confusing. Anyways, let's switch these two around. And that's four turns. I'm pretty sure I can do it in three, but I'll be satisfied with four for now. Anyways, Flame Wrath is next. A speedy and agile fungus that is brimming with pyro energy. It has the dubious dis distinction of being a massive fire hazard and has an equally explosive temper. Let's cultivate. Two presets this time. Lovely. Okay, so I want to place that right there like that. This one here like this. Now I can rotate those. Rotate these around a few times. Darn. I could do that different. Let's try it again. I think I had the general idea down when I did that one. And like that, I guess. Hey, let's switch those around there. Let's switch these around here like that. I don't know. I'm definitely not doing it right. Let's undo a couple of turns there. Let's undo one more. Two more. Okay, rotate there like that. Rotate there. And rotate there. And there. Arg. Obviously that's not right. Darn. This is... This is something. Okay, I'm resetting the entire thing very fast. Uh, so let's rethink how I'm doing this. I still think that this is the correct answer right here, no matter what. I think that that's the only answer right there. So you rotate once there, then you switch those two. Switch here between those two. Okay, that was done in what, five? Yeah, five. Hmm, that seems to be the lowest I can get it. Oh well. Let's move on to Spark Dart. An agile fungus that possesses currents whose flow cannot be easily read. It is valued both for study and use among researchers. Please no more presets, darn it. Figures. I've got to do this a little bit differently. I think I have to actually rotate first just to get it so that things are a little bit more lined up properly. Yeah, like this. Now I can place a preset here and then do a switch between that one and this one. There we go. That was done in four. So now the final one, skill shroom. A strong and tall fungus that has strong awareness of its surroundings and whose cap can react to changes in the wind direction. So let's cultivate this one too. And there's one preset. Uh, blue and pink, huh? Okay, let's rotate once there. And now let's set the preset right here. And then rotate again. Switch these two. And then rotate. There we go. I think that was four or five. Five, okay. And I'd say that that's probably good enough. Let's see if I can claim prizes. Okay, I can definitely claim prizes for these. That's nice. Move on to the next one. Claim all the prizes for those two. And all the prizes for these. Awesome! So those are all complete. And now I can actually access the fighting things now. I think I can access all of them. And 
The minimum score I need for all of them is uh, 2,000. Let's uh, see something else, too. Treasure of, the, of Dream Garden. Well, I can't actually claim her yet, because I don't have enough yet. Oh, well. So let's go ahead and this jump back over to that one uh, domain where I use the little guys to fight for me. After I claim these, of course. Okay, so zone defense or coordinated assault. You know, I'll do the coordinated assault one first. Uh, highest score, not yet attempted. Okay, enemies of many elemental types are gathering in the domain. For maximum efficiency, we can dispatch appropriate fungi to target these enemies' weakness. Let's start. In some stages, you can switch supporting fungi into combat if one of the current active fungi falls. Oh, I didn't know that. That's nice to know. Let's go ahead and start. Uh, and there is a supporting fungi slot there. Obviously, I want to have uh, a pyro type for this one. And then uh, we'll decide on the others here in a bit. I'll go with this one since it's recommended in the lower left there. And of course, I definitely want a Crasher Basher with me. And I'll go with uh, this guy too. So there's one more slot, and I think it'll go to my uh, healer here. Hmm. I should actually probably have the healer in my party. So I'll uh, do that and switch over to the supporting. And there we go. Let's confirm the lineup. And let my fungi fight. So hopefully Crasher Basher can get rid of these guys easily enough. Come on. Oh, I should have aimed at this guy with Crasher Basher. It doesn't matter, though. Darn it. Where's another one of those things? There it is. Uh... There we go. It's almost dead. I don't think I can take any damage here. Uh, I heard something interesting there. Like, tweeting or something? Okay, let's go on to the next match. Uh, so the enemy types Hydro Abyss Mage, Chili Churl Fighter, Pyro Slime. Uh, Hydro Slime, I mean. So obviously, for this one, instead of my Pyrotype, I want my Cryotype, uh, just because. And uh, yeah, it should be good enough. Let's start. Uh, grab all those. And you know what? Crasher Basher. Yeah, you can get rid of some of them. I think I should have my... Uh, Try to freeze him. Oh. Cool. And Crasher Basher can get rid of them now. In theory, anyways. Oh. There we go. Darn it. Come on, Crasher Basher. Good. You've almost taken care of him. Uh, you know what? Just to make sure that they're definitely dead. Darn. We gotta get rid of the... We gotta get rid of, a, of that at this maze before, yeah, it gets the shield back. Oh, good. Let's go ahead and target him. Its shield is almost down. It's the last one in this match. Okay, Crasher Basher, you got this. I'm pretty sure that that's the name of that particular one. The, the Geo Element one that I have. Why did I do that? I don't know. Hmm. Heading to the next zone. So there's at least one more match. So 
For this one, I definitely want my Pyro one back. So let's uh, remove the Cryo one. Throw the Hydro uh, Pyro one in there. And confirm lineup. Uh, line okay. Uh, and I better heal too. Be on the safe side. Uh, oh, there it is. I'm waiting. There we go. Now Crasher Basher can deal some damage. I better heal too. There you go. Oh wow, he got knocked off his feet. And I'll use uh, Pyro again on it. Here we go. Heal my uh, fungi, even though they probably don't need to be healed too much. Just kind of a precaution. Pyro again. I'm actually thinking that Crash of Bash is better uh, at dealing damage in general, though, so maybe I should use him instead. We'll see in a second. Well, he knocks it off at speed. That's kind of important, right? I'll use Pyro again. Hopefully it'll die sooner. Before it can, uh, get its shield up. Okay, good. Whew. And I did get enough points. I seem to be getting a very, like, that number of points, like 2,700 and something each time. It's pretty nice. I've decided to wait on collecting my, uh, rewards. I'm gonna just move right on to the third one. Uh, Coordinated Assault Rapid Chase. The enemies have spread out all over the battlefield, trying to slow down the rhythm of our attack. Rapid rotation of our troops or gathering groups of enemies to one location might be winning strategies for this special training. Okay, start. And what do they recommend this time? Uh, obviously Pyro is one of them. And Cryo as well as Hydro is what I would go with. So let's go with this, this, yeah, I want to go with Bongo Bongo here, too. And then, of course, Crasher Basher. Uh, so let's confirm the lineup and start. And Crasher Basher should be good enough to get rid of these uh, ones right off the bat. Oh, wow. It kind of didn't... Uh, where is it? There it is. Okay. There we go. Once again, and you know what, I'll do this, just to keep them healed. Pyro, and Crasher Basher again, such a funny name. Yeah, I'll use my uh, Dendro element one, I think that's Dendro, or is that a Nemo? I'm not so sure. Anyways, Crasher Basher just knocked several of them out around. Uh, oh, there it is. Uh, here we go. This is such a weird little event. I'm not sure I like it, but I don't necessarily hate it either. It's just so weird. Okay, so third, uh, I mean second match. Electro Spectre and Dendro Spectre. Hmm. So I already have the ones that they recommend in my party, and you know what? I think that that's good enough. So let's uh, go ahead and start. And put these things. So that way I can use my special abilities. Uh... Let's go ahead and use the Pyro ability very fast. And you know what? I'll use the Anima ability too. Kind of gather them up together. I think I know what I should do from now on. I should use the Anima ability followed by uh, Crasher Basher. I think that that seems like a good uh, combination. Uh, 
Um, there it is. So let's try that. Come on, Crash your Basher, don't let me down. <laughs> okay, they're close to dying. I'm gonna heal everybody now. Good. And now they just needed to defeat that last one. Which they did, obviously. Just as I was saying it. So, this one... Uh, obviously I want a Pyro one for that, uh, Ice Shield Wall. Yeah, I definitely want a Pyro, uh, in my party. And I do have a Pyro already, but I may add a second. Actually, you know what? Nah. That's good enough. Uh, so let's confirm. And, uh, like these. Darn you. Let's have them gather in this general area here. And then do that. Get rid of his shield. There we go. So there's six more enemies left. I'm gonna wait to use my ability until I collect another one of those things that come from the sky. Wherever it might be. Where is it? Come on. There we go. Okay, so I want to use it on this guy. Ah, great. Doesn't matter. Oh, good kind of worked out. Now I've got to heal my uh, little guys here. There we go. I think that healed them to full. Yeah, it did. I can see in the lower right-hand corner their HP bars. Uh, where's another one of those things? It doesn't see... Okay, there we go. It just didn't appear for a while that time. Is this the third one or the second one for this particular challenge? I think it's the third one. All I know is that this guy is a bit of a pain. Yeah, it was. Okay, good. I definitely got all the prizes for that one. And now we'll move on to the fourth uh, coordinated assault, Combined Tactics. There is a wide range of different enemies in this spe uh, in the special training. Without a focus on any single element, attacking with a balanced and comprehensive fungi team should be the safest option. So let's go ahead and start. Okay, start the special training. And Pyro Slime is the only one that I have to worry about this time. So obviously I should have uh, whatever I can go with. Uh, I think the Electro types are particularly good at dealing with them. So... I should have at least one Electro-type with me. I think I'll go with this one. And then, uh, the Dendro-type. Or is that Dendro or Anemo? Okay, I want the Anemo-type, as well as Crasher Basher. And so, the supporting fungi should be... Probably a Pyro-type or something. So let's, uh, wait, no, not a Pyro-type. A Cryo-type. There we go. So let's go ahead and confirm the lineup and see where are they going to appear. There we go. Hmm. You know what? Let's have them all gathered up. Oh, wait. Different button prompts. Oh, well. It'll be fine, probably. Uh, Crash your Basher again. Oh, wow. So this is just normal, uh... Just normal Pyro Slime this time, right? Nothing really special? Huh. I don't know what to think about that one. Let's go ahead and worry about this cryo whopper flower now that could be a little bit tricky so what i think i'll do is i'll add this guy to my group and go ahead and confirm the lineup uh and gather them all up just like that and 
use Pyro to get it done. Darn. It didn't last as long as I wanted the Anemo thing. Not too big of a deal. Oh. Uh, I've got to prepare for them doing weird things here in a second. Let's gather them up like that and do this. And use a Crasher Basher. Okay, good. I better heal my uh, little guys as well. Oh, that's funny. Uh, yeah, we'll do that a little bit later, Paimon. But for right now, we're in the middle of this. Uh, so, Geo Bishop is next. And I'm not sure what would be best for dealing with the Geo Bishop. I don't think I need this guy, uh, the Anima one, because I don't think it'll do much in this. But I could use the Dendrit one, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and confirm the lineup. Uh, and just do it, steal as much damage as possible. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Take that. Some of that. Oh wow. Knocked him off his feet. I just gotta keep an eye on my fungi. Make sure that their HP doesn't get too low. Uh there you go. I'd say I'm doing pretty well so far. Oh, I need, uh, yeah, one of these to heal. There we go. Now I feel a little bit more comfortable. Hopefully another one of those falls soon. So that way I can deal damage. Yeah. Let's go with, uh, Crasher Basher. And it just needs a little bit more and I win. And there we go, that's definitely enough. So the fifth and final one is Coordinated Assault, a uh, Marauding Adversary. Multiple powerful enemies are working together to counter our advance, creating a formidable lineup. We need to carefully construct a fungi team that will take into account possible setbacks during battle and push steadily towards final victory. So let's start. And which ones are they gonna throw at me this time? Drone Drake, Earth Guard, hmm. Not sure what I should go with here. Crash, Crasher Basher and uh, the healer are obviously choices that I'll make. Um, you know what? I think Cryo and one more. Let's go with this one, yeah. And then of course I've got to choose my sub. I'll go with that and confirm the lineup. Start. Where is it? There it is. So, I think I'll do that. Right off the bat, cool. Ooh. That appeared pretty fast. Is another one gonna appear here in a second? Yep. I'll hold on to it for now. Wow, they're freezing it pretty often. Nice. Uh, one more there. And you know what? I'll do that combination again. That seemed to deal a fair amount of damage to it in a short period of time. I'll heal everybody. There we go. And Crash It Basher should be able to finish it. Or close enough, anyways. Yeah. On to the second fight, which is against some Ice Wall, Ice Shield Wall, Mitachurls, and Cryo Kelly Charles. So, I definitely want to uh, have my Pyro for this one. You know, actually, I'll keep that one as a secondary, and then I'll just replace the Cryo in this group with this Pyro. And that should be good. So let's start. 
Uh, give me. Okay, let's aim for him and do the. Uh, yeah, do that. This might be able to uh, remove his shield. Yeah, that that'll definitely remove his shield. Good. I kind of wish that I had gotten my Amiibo type for this one. Oh well. Oh. Uh, let's heal everybody. Uh, it's kind of getting a little bit dangerous there. What's that supposed to do? That weird thing that's spreading out from him? Okay, good. Finally defeated one. And Crasher Basher should defeat these three. Or two, whatever. What is that? That aura that's spreading out from them. Come on, Crasher Basher, defeat him. Well, he did enough damage. Uh, another one right there. Heal everybody. Good. It's so chaotic. Like, if I, I, I imagine that this looks like really odd to people that are watching. Because it's just all over the place. I mean, it makes perfect sense to me, but that's because I'm actually, you know, playing. But anyways, let's uh, remove as much of his shield as possible. I think healing everybody is a good idea right now. Yeah, there we go. Wow, he's dealing quite a bit of damage. I better be prepared to heal again. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, heal. For sure. Uh, heal? Thank you. <laughs> it didn't want to heal there for a second. Uh, okay, let's smack him with Crasher Basher. There you go, knocked him off his feet. I need another one of these to heal everybody. Uh, please make it in time. Yeah, it did. For whatever reason, my pyro uh, guy is taking quite a bit of damage from this guy. A little bit more and I can heal again. There we go. And now I can use Crasher Basher to deal some decent damage. Good. Why can't I... Oh. I was about to say, why can't I see his HP, but his HP is at the very top. Let's uh, use uh, my Electro Guy to deal damage this time. I rarely ever use him. Oh no, his shield is back. Darn it. I need to heal. Oh wow. When he has his shield up, he's really, really powerful. Uh, you know what? Pyro guy, hopefully enough. Okay, good. Whew, that was close. But I made it, so let's claim all of our prizes for those uh, fights. Okay, so claim those three prizes right there. And these three as well. These three. And finally, those three. There we go. So now, there's still these left to do, and I will do those in a bit, but first things first, can I now claim her? Yes, I can. So let's, uh, oh, it wants me to complete the quest of the strongest opponent, the biggest crisis, okay. Uh, so I'll have to wait on that, but now let's go ahead and continue with this. Zone defense, raid destruction is next, so some fungi friends struggle to deal with airborne enemies. If those enemies can also use elemental powers, 
they can disrupt the combat ability of the entire fungus team. Those types of enemies will require extra attention in this special training. Huh. Okay. And start the special training. Hydro Abyss Mage and Cryo Hilly Churl Shooter. The Hydro Abyss Mage definitely needs the uh, Cryo type to take care of it. Um, as for the rest, I need... I think that these are the best ones to go with. So let's switch the party and add the Electro as my support and get started. Uh, where are they? There they are. So, obviously Cryo should be focused on him. Yeah. And then, do that. I think Crasher Basher should be able to... Oh no! Uh, let's, let's get rid of these guys right back. There we go. No! It teleported at just the last second. Okay, good. Those are appearing pretty often. The things that allow me to use my special moves. The plaudatory something or other. Plumes. Uh, let's go ahead and use Crasher Basher. Come on. Get rid of his shield. His shield is almost down. Okay, good. There's three more enemies after this, uh, Abyss Mage is, uh, you know, gone. Let's heal everybody very fast. Uh, oh, they all the way over there. Now, I've just got to get rid of these guys. Oh. Let's get rid uh, well, hopefully get rid of them. I think Crasher Basher. I, I wish that they were closer, darn it. Come on. I can't use that skill, why can't I use- okay, there we go. Good. And this is in the bag, I think. Well, at least, I'm pretty sure it is. Oh. Yeah. Yep, that's definitely enough points. Let's move on to the next one. The third one is Zone Defense Spherical, Tr uh, spherical Threat. While enemies come in all shapes and sizes, elemental life forms are among the most difficult for fungi to handle. In this defensive challenge, your fungi friends will need to fend off various types of spherical elemental life forms. Let's start. So when it says spherical, I'm willing to bet it's probably slimes. Yeah, large cryo slime. Oh, and electro specter and dendro specter. So the cryo slime is the most intimidating of them all. Uh, so obviously I should choose the ones that they're recommending that I choose while also going with the ones that I know that I definitely want. Um, and I'll choose that guy for good measure. So let's uh, go ahead and confirm the lineup. And where are they? There they are. So let's gather them up and then do this to kinda, yeah, beat them up. I don't like how close they are to the device. I am supposed to be protecting it after all. Uh, there we go. You know what? Crasher Basher should be able to finish some of them off now. And, uh, gather them up again. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Let's, uh, use my Pyro Guy. I probably used my Pyro Guy too soon. Crasher Basher! Defeat some of them, please! Thank you. There's the cryo guy that I've been waiting for. Uh, let's get rid of his ice shield. Good. Ooh. Uh, where is that at? There it is. 
healed me, please. Good. Okay, definitely want to get rid of that guy as soon as possible. Let's gather him up. Oh, no. Uh, crash a basher. Good. The device only has around 50 HP left, which is not good. Hopefully, yeah, the cryo slime is gone. Okay, gather them all up again. There's only one left. And hopefully, I defeated them fast enough. Darn, that's not enough points. I need to do it again. Uh, now, this time, I'm going to target that one right there and then use the wind. Ah, uh, darn. It didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Uh, oh, I better pick that up. And another one. Cool. Uh, I think I can, yeah, do that to kind of beat him up a little bit. And another one of those things has come down. Cool. Uh, let's gather them all up over there. And, ah! Okay, good. I think I'm doing better this time, overall. I mean, this guy right here is gonna be a small problem. But as long as I'm smart, I should be able to defeat him with minimal issues. Uh, I do need another one of those, yeah. That should defeat those... Ah, darn. It happened to be far enough away from these Dendro Spectres that it didn't work out for me. Darn it. Come on, don't do, don't do any more damage. Here. There's one left and it's just this little cryo slime. Okay, good. That was enough. So the fourth one is Zone Defense, Three Dimensional Defense. Due to your fungi friend's watertight defense, the enemy change tactics and use common monsters to divert your attention, while creating opportunities for their nimble main force to approach and destroy the, mon the monolith. With this in mind, you need to summarily dispatch enemies approaching from behind. Mm. So let's start the special training again, and Electro Slime and Pyro Whopper Flyer, a flower. So that Pyro Whopper Flower definitely needs a uh, Hydro type, and a Cryo type wouldn't hurt either. Uh, as for the Electro Slime, I think that uh, having these guys ought to uh, do the trick, and then the the backup, you know, supporting fungi would be that guy. So let's uh, let's do this. Gather these guys here like that. Why did I do things this way? I don't know. Uh, okay, so I got rid of three already, which is nice. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, they managed to freeze it. Cool. Uh, okay, good. I was gonna say, I really don't like the fact that it almost pulled that off. It almost used its special attack. Just a little bit more, you guys got this? Okay, good. Next group, right over here. Let's uh, gather them up and use this to attack them. You know what, Trasher Basher can, uh, can do a little bit of damage too. Let's use the healer. Uh, wait a second. Yeah, good. This is working out pretty well. A little bit more and this guy will be defeated and then I can, uh, worry about the final group, I think? Yeah, it's the final group. So, gather them all up again, just like that. 
use Ice and then Crasher Basher. And now it's just this Pyro Whopper Flower again by itself. Yeah, this was a pretty easy group overall, I'd say. Uh, Crasher Basher should be able to deal a fair amount of damage to it. And you know what? May as well gather it up too. And it's almost dead. There we go. That should have been enough, right? Yeah, definitely enough. And the final one is Zone Defense All Domain Suppression. In this special training, the enemy employed the most tra uh, most traditional tactic, pairing melee shield uh, mi miniaturals with ranged hilly churl archers to launch an aggressive yet steadfast attack. He can only defend against an enemy's attack by deploying appropriate fungi. Here we go. So which ones? Uh, so the wooden shield miniatural. Hmm. Okay, it's not too bad. I can just use a pyrotype here, as well as uh, one of the Nemo type healer, crasher basher, and another pyrotype for good measure. And that ought to do the trick. So there they are. Uh, gather them all up right there. And you know what? Okay, good. That got rid of those hilly churl types. Uh, you know what? Let's get rid of these guys too. Uh, let's gather them up. And then use Crasher Basher here in a second. Darn. He aimed for uh, the big guy. I didn't need for him to do that. Okay. Because the big guy isn't really that much of a threat right now. I don't think. I think that, uh, overall, that was a very easy challenge. I didn't even notice it was that close to being done. Let's claim our prizes. Okay, so claim all three of these. And then all three of these. And these. And these. Cool, so I think I'm completely done with uh, this particular group of challenges. So now I've just got championship progress as well as treasure dream uh, thingy. Uh, so let's see this very fast. I can claim all these. There we go. I still have 1,000 uh, of those tokens for the other thing, you know, exchanging for Dory. I can exchange for this, as well as these. There we go, I claimed all these as well, and I still have a thousand of those left. Awesome! Wow, I'm making good progress on this quest. Uh, so once I do more of the story here, I believe I'll be able to, uh, you know, claim Dory eventually. Let's uh, claim this very fast, too. As well as those. So now I'm going to go over to Port Ormos and continue this. I'm going to probably continue it for like one or two more cutscenes and then stop. Looks like the qualifiers are about to kick off. El Hingen's giving an opening speech. Ladies and gentlemen, the Niluth Pala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament is about to begin. I genuinely hope that everyone has fun in the competition and wish you all the very best of luck. At the same time, I ask that you bear in mind that this tournament is held in the spirit of friendly and fair competition. By all means, give everything you've got, but respect your opponents at the same time. Don't lose your head. This is just a sport, not a fight to the death. I mean, you are offering a lot of money, so... I have spent a considerable amount of time in my life searching for a way for humans and dangerous creatures to coexist. The wisdom orbs you now hold in your hands show me that it is indeed possible. I sincerely hope that this event will show the potential of beast taming to a wider audience. People need a way to avoid conflict and stay safe in the wild. And beast taming can help us achieve this. Oh, so that's why Ohingen is putting his whole fortune into this. What an inspiring goal! 
but Caltelia, on the other hand. Thank you for your speech, uh -huh. Mr. Elhingen. I'd like to add a few words of my own, if I may. Welcome, Beast Tamers! The wisdom orbs in your hands are a truly groundbreaking invention, representing the culmination of centuries of technological innovation at the Academia. Actually, there are nine extraordinary technical breakthroughs that make them so exciting. Cautilia, everyone's eager to try them out for themselves. There's no need to delve into all the details right now. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, of course. Well, I'll explain everything to you all when I get the chance. I'm sure you'll get a sense of just how advanced this technology is when you start using it in the arena. Trust your wisdom orbs and have fun in the competition. What a total nerd! Doesn't he know there's a time and place to talk tech? Oh, good thing Elhingen has enough situational awareness for the both of them. Otherwise, this could have dragged on for a long time. Ooh, the qualifiers have officially started! It's time to face our first opponent! Sino, has this tournament come to his attention too? Oh, wow. I wonder if he's investigating it for uh, other reasons. Anyways, uh, it wants me to participate in the thing. Is he over here? No, he's not. Huh. Okay, so I'll participate in one match if it allows me to only do one. So this is... I can't even... Uh, Dash. I'll just call her Dash. Uh, Dash is full of youthful vigor, and in fact came to register with a great many companions in tow, only for all of them to save her to be disqualified due to being underage. According to the contestant herself, she fights on behalf of all the children who love uh, those kinds of nuts, and her goal is to win a large sum of mora in the tournament and give the children who support her a decade supply and then some of those nuts. Uh, Dash's ace fungus, Magi Shroom, is able to use the wondrous dendro element to complement its teammates and create all manner of elemental reactions on the battlefield. One should have no doubt that Dash herself will want to make the most of these advantages, so let's go ahead and start. And uh, my healer is automatically in the match. Can I... Okay, so the opposing lineup is right there. Obviously, I want to choose ones that will be good against them. So, a Cryo, a Pyro, and I believe my Crasher Basher will do. Let's confirm the lineup and go. Huh, didn't know they put the bar for entry so low. Huh. Let's go! This is going to be over so fast, don't blink or you'll miss it. Don't be nervous, Bongohead. It's only the qualifiers. These are teeny tiny potatoes. Just think of them as stepping stones. Okay then. So, I should start off with my Crasher Basher. There we go. And you know what? I think... I think uh, this is going to be pretty easy overall. Oh, no. Yeah, Bongo Head is taking a little bit of damage. I won't lie. But it's not too bad. Uh, I think that Bongo Head should heal everybody now. And I'll finish this. Okay then, that was interesting. So challenge completed, I can leave the arena from here. This fungi fighting is unlike anything else we've ever done before, and it's super fun. Well, it's definitely unlike anything else we've done before, that's for sure. That beast tamer and her fungi work together pretty well, almost as well as the two of us. Are you saying you want to uh, have a try at fighting? Your signature move will be Silver Supernova Slap. <laughs> uh, th th that's not what Paimon meant! Paimon just wanted to say that our opponent seems to have developed her own fighting style unique to her and her fungus. Oh, it'd be 
great if we were more tightly in sync with Bongo Head. Imagine if we could just look at him and he'd know exactly what to do. That would be amazing. That's why it's so important to develop close connections with your teammates. Nico and Layla, how's it going for you so far? Twirly Whirly and the other Shroom Buddies were way stronger than I thought. Before I knew it, they'd knock the opposition out. <laughs> when I got back to the arena, I saw Miss Yai's opponent running away like they'd just seen a ghost. Miss Yai said she needed to find you and discuss something, so I came with her. I wonder if uh, Yai Mika's opponent was Goro. Little Layla here breezed through her first battle. Soka won hers by a hair's breadth, but mine was rather disappointing. My opponent was a frightful bore. Well, it's only just started after all. It'd be a bit of a crazy tournament if everyone in the qualifiers was a prize fighter. But anyway, what was it you wanted to discuss with us? You're getting smarter, aren't you, Paimon? I thought you'd need me to remind you, but no, you said it yourself. Our opponents will only get stronger as the tournament proceeds, so we mustn't let our guard down. Why don't we keep up the momentum from our respective first round victories? Let's give our fungi some special training to strengthen our bonds with them. Huh. Great idea! Stay one step ahead of the game! Alright, guess it's Shroom Buddy's special training o'clock! Let's get to it! So what are we supposed to do now? You and Layla accompany Yaimika to the training location. The view here is wonderful. It smells of the rainforest here, and we're far enough away that no one will bother us. Let's have some fun with our fungi friends, then take a break to sample some of Sumeru's delectable snacks. Yay! Snack time, snack time! What was that weird noise? Wait a second. Are we here for training, though? Or did you put something in the snacks that'll improve our bonds with our fungi? Even if I had that kind of power, I wouldn't dream of abusing it. I assure you, the dried fruits and pastries I brought are quite ordinary. Perhaps you thought I'd planned an intensive training session for you? <laughs> that won't be necessary. On the contrary, when you're constantly on edge, you miss quite a lot of important things. Since the goal here is to bond with our fungi, we should treat them as friends and create happy memories with them. Eating and having fun together are vital components of friendship training. Huh. Imagine if all the Traveler ever thought about was making you stronger, forcing you to build rock-hard muscles just to watch you send Mitochurls flying. Would you gladly comply? Mitochurls? Hmm. Maybe I should call him that from now on. Anyways, Buffmon. Hmm? Why are you looking at Paimon like that? Oh, don't you dare try anything like that! <laughs> or Paimon will... Paimon will ignore you for three days! No, five days! See? You and he have a very strong bond, but that doesn't mean you'd be happy for him to inflict a rigorous physical training regimen on you. Do you really think the fungi would be any more receptive when they've only just met you? Mm -hmm. Huh. Well, when you put it like that... Miss Yai is right. Also, I'm curious to see what would happen if the Wisdom Orb is turned off or malfunctions. I wonder if the fungi will stay tamed or not. Do you want to turn off the Wisdom Orb? Yeah. It takes time for friends to get to know each other properly and come to trust each other. I can't always rely on this gizmo to communicate with Twirly Whirly. It makes me feel like I'm giving orders. Ah, yes. True love cannot be controlled by external forces. Little Layla's belief is a classic one. That would mean hmm. giving up control over the fungi. Uh, is that really a good idea? It's worth a try. I'm curious about what will happen too. Go ahead and give it a try, little Layla. Don't worry. The little ones and I will be here to keep you safe. Okay. Is everyone ready? I'm... I'm gonna do it. Seems like a really bad idea, but... Uh, we may end up having to fight them. Look at that! Now that it's turned off... Twirly Whirly's moving around on its own again, but it's not attacking people nearby like it did before. That's surprising. Perhaps the Wisdom Orb's technology doesn't allow people to control the fungi at all. Maybe it simply adjusts the fungi's temperaments, 
calming them down so that they're capable of forming connections with people. Huh. If this theory is correct, little Layla's wish may yet come true. Once you've gotten to know each other, you'll be able to freely communicate without using the Wisdom Orb. Miku's right! Forget fancy schmancy technology. The real breakthrough here is the power of friendship. <laughs> I'll do my best. I want to learn all about Twirly Whirly's likes and dislikes, then buy lots of snacks from the Almighty Merchant. Almighty Merchant. Paimon wants to get to know the real Bongo Head, too. Let's try deactivating our wisdom orb, shall we? Okay, then. So. What's it gonna do? What makes the Wisdom Orb so effective? Is Katelia in possession of some great technology unknown to other scholars? Traveler, Paimon, Miss Yai, do you and your shroom buddies want to join us? I think Twirly wants to play in the water over there. You'd better be careful. Don't get too close to Blitzaro when you're knee deep in the water. Or you might find yourself on the receiving end of a very unique lower leg massage. <laughs> Bongo Head is a floating hydro fungus, or Bongo Head is always playing in the water. Oh, both right. of them. Yeah. Paimon almost forgot! Should we let Bongo Head try something different? We could climb a tree together and see the view from the top. You two go ahead. We want Bongo Head to try something different since it's probably used to playing near water. Oh, okay. Meet you back here later then. Hope you have a good time. Huh. Layla and Yai Miko go off to play with their fungi. Oh, go ahead. We can do whatever you want to do. Just let us know. Paimon will probably understand you. <laughs> uh, why isn't it responding? Oh, guess Paimon will have to try using delicious treats to win its affection. Help! Help me! Oh? Something's not right! Why are these fungi so aggressive? Did you hear that? It sounds like someone's calling for help. Hurry, let's go check it out. Okay, sure. That voice sounded familiar. Uh, so where is it? All the way over there? I'll use this to get over there. So who is it? Uh. What are you doing here? Hania, you saved the children? I happen to be nearby. The children were mimicking what they'd seen the contestants doing and ended up getting surrounded by wild fungi. Fortunately, I heard the commotion and got here in time to save them. Oh, cool. It's so dangerous! Why are they trying to approach wild fungi without a wisdom orb? It's hardly their fault. I was almost drawn in by the fungi's cute appearance once, too. Luckily, I remembered my family's stern warnings and the suffering that previous generations once endured. So I kept my distance. People never used to be under any illusion about how dangerous the fungi can be. But this Neelit Polycup is changing people's perceptions, and now they're letting their guard down against the fungi. A consequence that Elhingen failed to foresee. The tournament's become too popular for its own good. In trying to solve one problem, it's created another. I'm putting an end to this debacle, first chance I get. The Wisdom Orb is the perfect tool for exterminating fungi on a large scale. And once I win the tournament, They'll be mine to do with as I please. What are you talking about, Hania? Exterminating fungi? Not in front of Pyro 1! Don't you care about its feelings? You're taking part in the tournament too, aren't huh. you? You even taught us a few tips and tricks! You're clearly enjoying the event! I'm quite certain Pyro 1 would back me up if it was capable of realizing the past mistakes of its kind. But regrettably, it's just a pawn controlled by a gadget. It will never understand human sentiments. As for why I taught you guys a few things, don't you realize? I saw your potential, and I wanted you to help me reach my goals. Yet here you are now, pleading the fungi's case. You've gotten too deep in this absurd game. Looks like Golden Comet and Silver Companion don't deserve such a stellar reputation after all. Huh. Looks like she's made up her mind. Oh my, such a standout personality. And with the perfect dose of obstinacy. I sense dramatic events just waiting to unfold. Miko? Layla? Oh, you heard 
heard the cries for help too, huh? We were just talking about her as it happens. Little Layla told me that Hania gave you some guidance when you first entered the tournament. But after you met Layla, she very abruptly left. Looking at it now, she seems to be a classic case of a wrong path character. Blames the many for the mistakes of a few and seeks to wipe them all out of existence. Hmm. She takes the wrong path because in her eyes, it is the most effective and sensible method of achieving her goal. Seems she's had some bad experiences with fungi. She definitely has her reasons. Fungi can definitely be aggressive and damage their environment, but some research also suggests that they're only acting in accordance with their nature, just like any other wild animals. The fungi have existed for a long time. No one knows what the ecological implications for the rainforest would be if they all got killed off suddenly. Right! We shouldn't resort to extreme measures. No matter what Ania has been through, we can't let her do this just because she wants to. You intend to stop her achieving victory? I can't say I didn't expect that response from you. But I hear she's one of the favorites to win this tournament. Are you prepared to face such a formidable opponent? We will train harder. We will keep bonding with our fungi. That's what you brought us here for, right? To get acquainted with our fungi friends so we can cooperate better with them? Wait, did you know all this was going to happen? <laughs> it would be rather boring if I had arranged every last detail in advance. The chance encounter between you and Hania came as quite a pleasant surprise. Today's training ends here. The qualifier should be over now. We should go and find out what to expect in the later stages. Hmm. Okay, so they want me to return to the cup arena. But uh, this is actually where I'm going to be stopping. I will claim any prizes that I can, though. I think I can claim a prize here. Oh, no. I can't. It was just telling me that uh, my next matchup is Soka. So, uh, anyways... There's a total of, um, I think, five matches are left, yeah. Anyways, uh, so this is definitely where I'm stopping. Thanks for watching. The next time I play, I'll uh, you know, be continuing this transfer. event. It's a very interesting event. I, I kind of like it. You know, I think that the fact that they're trying something new again is pretty cool. But, uh, you know... It's still not over, so we'll see uh, if I get annoyed or not by some of the fights ahead. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.